Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Pal Place Pikmin. Last episode. Take two. I think I figured it out. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Pal Plays Pikmin. Yesterday, we went into the Forest of Hope and finished it out completely. We fought two bosses and got three ship parts. Today, or this morning, we're going into the Forest Naval to hopefully get three more ship parts. Maybe four. I'm not sure. If we do well on time, we will be able to get four, possibly. Though I'm not eh, not planning on doing that. No. Take three. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Pal Plays Pikmin. Last time, yesterday, no, take four. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Pal Plays Pikmin. Yesterday, we went into the Forest of Hope and finished it out. We got three ship parts and fought two bosses. And also, I tell you a cool story that my dad is helping me buy a really sweet new computer. So, you guys can expect some uh, computer LPs from me. Uh, computer games. Of LPs. Of computer games. Soon. Anyway. And today, this morning... We are going to be going into the Forest Naval, the land, as I like to call it, of Eternal Night. So, let's jump on in. I plan to get three ship parts today. And let's go ahead and head on in. Also, you may have noticed a faint clicking. I'm not sure if it's still there. I'm still ev uh, working out the problem. But there's been a faint clicking while I'm talking in a lot of my episodes. And I think I figured out... Well, I had two possibilities. One was that I was peeking the mic, which is possible, I think, but um, the other possibility was that it was my chair, because my chair's really creaky. I've mentioned it a couple episodes, but yeah, my chair is really creaky, so I'm actually sitting in a wooden chair, and I've adjusted the volume, so maybe that won't be there. Sweet. So, uh, starting off, we're going to get out... Let's see. 100 Pikmin would be enough? Yeah. 100 pick 100 red pikmin and we're going to storm the castle let me show you on the map the plan for today uh, as you remember last time we were in the forest naval we did got three parts and also we worked on the analog computer we moved it very close to base so that getting it today this morning will be a cinch although sadly I did not know this. Um, the fiery blowhogs apparently respawn within two days. So by us not being here in two days, there are four fiery blowhogs out here that we're going to have to take care of. That's why I grabbed all the red Pikmin. Also, there's one Wallywog right here that's going to bother us while we're taking down the fiery blowhogs. So that's why I'm getting a, such a huge force. Now, primarily, this episode is going to, or today, sorry, is going to be spent in the water. There is a ship part right here, and there are two Wallywogs 
right near it, and there's one over here. So, yeah, we're going to be fighting some Wallywogs, which we've never faced before, and you're going to, is, you guys are going to be seeing my rage as I to comment on how much of a destructive enemy they are. And also, there's a ship part right here. You don't need any elemental... You know, there are no elemental hazards there besides water. So you can just go around here with the Pikmin, the blue Pikmin, and grab it. So, let's initiate this plan. First step, let's eliminate the fiery blowhogs. And let's grab a red Pikmin and zoom out and head this way. Uh, a guy fell down there, but he'll catch up. Throw a one flower Pikmin there. He's paving the way for the blue Pikmin later. And the rest of the... Actually, let's throw some here. But let's set the rest of them on destroying this blowhog. And by destroy, I mean literally destroy. We want to make it so he never existed. There. That's good. Now, you get up, please, my friend. Okay. Let's set the rest of them on this blowhog. Now, you actually don't want to be near the blowhogs when they when they rear back, because they can actually throw you, Olimar, really far. This blue blowhog in a previous take threw me all the way over there. So, yeah, they can possibly throw you somewhere where you're not supposed to go, meaning that you might die. Okay, you guys, come here. Okay, all of you, come over here, and let's take care of this Wallywog. They can kill a max of 14 Pikmin. Though their hitbox is huge. Seriously, it's huge. If the Pikmin are anywhere near him when he jumps, they will die. They don't need... Oh, snap. No, guys. Guys, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. You guys can make it. Come on. Good boys. Okay. You guys too. Come on. Come on. This was a very bad place for me to battle this guy. Get it. Get out of the water. Okay. Kill him, please. Good, he's dead. Now, for the rest, come over here and face this way, please. There are five blow blowhogs on this, on um, in the area, but I only counted four because that one's that way out of our way. Okay, so we have everyone. Let's set all of them, all that we can, on this analog computer, and the rest of them over here. Grab these guys. And whistle these guys, and whistle those guys, and set the rest of them on this stuff. Okay, good. Now let's whistle them. This will cushion us later on in the game. Okay, I need a flower Pikmin. Flower. There we go. Okay, you go there. That's your job. Now you guys go here and carry this guy. Sweet. So, waste not. That's, I guess that's the moral for this episode. If I titled these, I would call this one Waste Not. Okay. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. They're seven. They're half. Okay, one more. And six for this. Or seven. One, two. And one. We threw one on that, but whatever. One, two, three, four, five, and the rest can go on this because we don't have enough to carry the other one. There. Now, hopefully these guys will make Because I need my blues really bad. Okay. There are no hazards over there, please say. Okay, there are none. Okay, let's go. Let's wait for them to come back. And please hurry. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this honey wisp down. I remember saying last time that honey wisps aren't I think I said it maybe that honey wisps aren't necessary but I mean we have spare time okay there's our analog computer and that actually does appear no it doesn't okay analog computer this strengthens the outward emotions of the dolphin's computer while it does make the computer smart it also makes it quick to anger it's just like my boss <laughs> that's funny um why you'd want his ship to have emotions? I don't know, but I guess I shouldn't question this game, because it's, it's kind of a wacky game. Uh, you help him. Help. There you go. And you guys, can I help you? I can. Let's have you guys be helped. 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 
And there. Can you help me help him more? There. Good. Whistle you guys. Whistle you guys. Okay, here's why I keep doing stuff when normally people would wait for everything to come back. Because I have I have kind of a, a logic in these ga in games like this. My logic is if you're not doing anything, you're doing something wrong. Simple as that. That's my logic for games. So whenever I'm playing Smash and it's in between stocks or I'm playing one of these games and I'm waiting for something, I feel like there's it's my civic duty to do something while I'm waiting. So, that's why I, I keep busy. It may look kind of fidgety, but I'm not fidgeting. I'm just trying to make things hurry along. And I need a... And eh, we're, we're good with the nectar we have. Okay. Now, one more. One more of these guys, and then we'll get all blues. Except for some of those reds over there. Okay. You're done. Sweet. Let's whistle your friend up. And we have, oh, all 100 Pikmin. And we should avoid the Nectar, since we're not... The Nectar is not for our Reds. It is for all the Blues. Because we need them to move the fastest today. Please, all of you, hurry. We have half a day to get sh two ship parts. I do feel fairly confident, but then again, this is Pikmin. Anything can happen. There is 100 right here. There. Sweet. Come on, guys. I, I kind of discovered something. If you whistle them, some of them will jump off of the onion instead of sliding down the rails. So that'll actually make you get them faster. So it's actually better to do that. Okay. There's you. There's you. Got most of them in, in that pass. And call them all. Now we're going to flower the rest of them on this nectar. C come on, guys. Stick with it. Okay, come here. Come here. Thank you. You come here too. Okay. There we go. That's enough. Good. I'm happy. Come on. We're in a rush. Pikmin is always a rush. It's. It seems like a slow, kind of boring game, but it really isn't. Okay. So is there any nectar down there? No, there isn't. Okay. So, let's kill these Wallywogs. There are two. You can see them right there. We want to lure one of them away. Preferably this one. Wait for my squad to catch up there. Okay, come on. There it is. And if you swarm them with all 100 Pikmin, they will go down without any losses on your part. So, that's what you want to do. Okay. You want to wait till these guys jump. You don't want to uh, just charge them. Just charge them like this. Okay, after they jump. Good. And you're dead too. And there's a bottle here. Further cementing my theory that this takes place on Earth. If I haven't talked about that, I'm sorry. But this game does take place on Earth. It's the antidioxin filter. This, this fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease-causing agents from the ship's exa exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel worlds better. And 40? Nice. 50. Uh, we want some of you back. Just a few. Carry it. Okay, they need six more. That should be enough. There. Th I know that's enough. Okay. Let's go to this one. And all we have to do for this is just to build two bridges. It's very easy. They almost outright give you the ship part, providing you can get it back in time. Which I'm not sure if we'll be able to. Okay, so you guys do that. And... Um, no, they're building this fast enough. I was going... I'm weighing the risks of going back and getting yellows, but... No, I'm not going to risk it. We can do that tomorrow, because we only have to get two ship parts here to tomorrow. And those are... That one and that one, right here. So, we will have, a f hopefully, a little bit of extra time. Plus, we have to get them anyway, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. For now, I'll just focus on numbers with my extra time. Okay, zoom in. It helps me if I zoom in. Also, it looks like s some of them aren't working. That shouldn't be. You guys all work. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. Whistle, zoom out. This is the 
Gravity Jumper! By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump to super light speed. Good thing I found it. He needs an actual spring. Huh. I question this. Although it looks kind of cool. I mean, it is just a spring, but like, what, is, what else is a slinky? It's just a spring. It's cool. Huh. Okay. Also, that's funny. They aren't hitting anything, but... I will not question the methods of Pikmin. They're beating their friends. Maybe they're like the the overseers. They're beating the other workers to get their, them to move. I don't know. That makes sense. Also, when did we lose a Pikmin? This is a valid question. When did we lose a Pikmin? Um, I think one died by being pushed through the the area. That happens, too. I don't think I've mentioned it, but if sometimes you're fighting a big enemy, or you are uh, ferrying around a big treasure, uh, sometimes Pikmin can be pushed below the ground, and they can fall to their deaths in the blackness below. So, yeah, if you have unexplainable deaths, that could be why. I think that's what happened. The Anti-Dioxin Filter. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. Okay. So, that's a very steep law for today's standards. But, I, I this is in the future, you know, because this is after the the apocalypse on Earth. So, for this to be, you know, for no, there to be no pollutants for a ship, that's actually believable. And they are carrying that very fast. Wow. That's very impressive. And I think I will have time. In fact, you know what? Yeah. Okay, we're depositing the rest of our blues. And we're grabbing out all yellows. There it is. And I'm going to get some bomb rocks. This is good. Okay, there they are. We have, we have enough time to do this. That's really neat. Because we are fighting two bosses tomorrow so I feel that this is actually very good for us to prepare for this sweet also my allergies they're going to become they're still a big thing in my commentary still because they're still bothersome and it does not appear also that looks like an egg beater uh, spinning on the side of the ship Gravity Jumper. This anti-gravity device allows the dolphin to swim gracefully through s the sea of stars like a dolphin. Huh. Wonder where, where it got its name. I've now recovered 15 of 30 parts. We are halfway through the game. At day 6. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so let's throw one Pikmin on this. Let's not forget him. But I think that that'd be good because... We have almost all of our yellow Pikmin right here, so if we flower them, then we'll have mostly flowered uh, yellow Pikmin. Okay, there are more. There are more bomb rocks there. I'll not accept you guys being lazy. Is that all? Yep, that's all. Sweet. Okay. I think we'll be able to take care of all of the things. We have no stragglers. No, we don't. Good. Okay, let's dismiss our Pikmin right here so we remember them. So we remember the the ones picking grass, or the one picking grass. There we go. And let's take care of these rock walls, which are here. Here's one. Okay. Speed throw three of them. Or two, that's fine. Come on, hurry. Good. Okay, let's speed throw three this time. Good. Run, run, run. Good. You're clear. Speed throw two more, or three more. Four. Oh, snap. Run! Oh, you barely made it. Good job, by the way. Okay. Now, for the other rock wall. Getting a lot done today. We should be able to take this out with three. Why'd I throw one? I have no idea. One, two. Hurry. Hurry. Okay, whistle you guys, and 
Let's go to the last rock wall and take that one out completely. And that will be all, almost all of the rock walls that we need to destroy. And we have two left. Okay. Two rock walls left to destroy, but we can do that tomorrow. For now, let's go recover our last Pikmin. Last group of Pikmin. Come on. Good guys. We can do it. Yeah, okay, we have time. Good. Um, no stragglers? No stragglers? Good. No stragglers. Sweet. Actually, no, wait. We have three parts to get tomorrow. Oh, man. I didn't know that. Uh, we might be able to do it. Okay. You guys, I'm flowering all of you, or as many as I can, which is like five. What is that? Oh, that's the nest of the, uh, the bread bug. Huh. Interesting. Okay. So, wow. It was a very busy day today, but what else can you expect from, you know, Pikmin 1? It's a very... Not stressful, but it's a very hectic game. Come on. And we're not going to get back, but it'll warp us. Sweet! Got three parts and paved the way to getting a couple more. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. We're going to be getting three parts and all of them are spread out and we have two bosses to defeat uh, and both of them are some of the hardest bosses in the game well debatable but one of them i consider to be so yeah big day tomorrow and we lost i don't know one or two pikmin we lost one pikmin today only one neat six days since impact there are now only 15 parts that I need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 24 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. But if my sh ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I'll, I will find out is to try and lift off. I just recalled the day I took my son for a ride in this spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return! I must! I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. Sorry about that. Weird thing. Okay. Um, we have got... We got 54 Pikmin today. Very good for a day that was not supposed to be dedicated to numbers. We have 345 Pikmin in total. We lost one Pikmin. I don't think we lost it to battle. I think we lost it to a uh, glitch, so I'm fine with that. Uh, our numbers are looking very, very good. We need more yellow Pikmin. I'd ra I would like to have around 80 at least, so tomorrow, if we have time, we'll do just that. Okay. We have 15 parts. We have 15 parts remaining as well, and we have 24 days remaining to get them in. Halfway through the game, and only on day 6. That's really good. The way things are working, we're going to be done by day 12. Sweet. I can't, I've said sweet a lot today. Well, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow, we have a big day. We have two bosses to knock out, and three parts to, to obtain. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.